A protest today by more than 100 Nassau County Corrections officers. They're calling for the removal of the jail's affirmative action specialist over Facebook comments they say are racist and incite violence against law enforcement. News 12 Long Island's Eileen LaPalmer has the story. Guilty must go! Guilty must go! Their message was clear. More than 100 Nassau County Sheriff's Corrections officers marched in East Meadow today demanding the county fire Andreas Guilty. He is the affirmative action specialist for the Sheriff's Department at the Nassau County Jail. He is a, a racist and he does not belong in this position. The officers object to some of Guilty's recent Facebook posts. They call them anti-law enforcement and anti-white. A lot of his posts are, uh, this is not your country pale face. NYPD crackers, he's referring to the NYPD. He's threatened to fight my officers. He says, I don't want to hear about the stress of your job. Guilty was appointed to his position in 2010 by County Executive Ed Mangano. Guilty had supported Mangano's campaign and was personally thanked for it in Mangano's inauguration speech. The Democrats from Mangano, Andreas 13, our chairman's here. Andreas. Mangano's spokesman said the county executive could not comment because of a pending investigation by the commissioner of investigations. In a statement, the county attorney said, quote, Andreas Guilty is a civil service employee and protected by a collective bargaining agreement. The county executive cannot fire nor remove him. The law protects both his job and freedom of private speech. John Jaronzik, the head of the Corrections Officers Union, says that's simply not true and his members won't stop protesting until guilty is gone. After he's made these views so public, I don't think there's any county employee anywhere that would want to go to this man and they could feel like they have a fair investigation. Well, Andreas Guilty's Facebook page was still active this morning, but by early afternoon was completely taken down. I went to Guilty's home and called him on his cell phone. He did not respond. The Corrections Officers Union, meanwhile, has filed a complaint with the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Colleen. Okay, thank you, Eileen.